Welcome back. Good morning. Uh, my name's Ernie Villa. I'm the Operations Section Chief here for California Interagency Management Team 5. I'm here to provide an update for the coffee pot fire for August 22nd, 2024. The fire is currently 2,231 acres. We're currently 0% contained. We have 615 firefighters assigned to the fire. Our priorities for the fire still remain life, property, and natural resources uh, that are currently being threatened around the fire's perimeter. And I'll go ahead and get into the current situation of the fire here. So yesterday, uh, minimal fire activity here along the south side of the fire up until you get out here towards the west side of the fire. Fire remained a little bit more active out here on the west side. As you come out here on, along the north side, the fire minimal activity out here towards Coffee Pot uh, Grove. And then as the fire came out to the north here in these drainages, the fire activity still remained backing uh, out in this area. And then the most activity that we did have was out here by the Coffee Pot Canyon. We did have a small run of fire that came up towards the top of the ridge line out here towards Coffee Pot Canyon. And then the remaining of the fire still remained to be backing uh, out here towards the east back in towards uh, the south side of the fire for kind of what we're doing as far as our assignments we're currently looking at the uh, south fork of the Kuya river uh, coming out just along the ladybug trail as a holding feature as we get back into south fork drive we're looking at using the road as our primary line coming back out towards a ridge system this ridge system comes back up just uh, east of salt creek fire control road uh, we're looking at coming up this ridge line here uh, right about here at the ridge line, we do have crews continuing up this ridge line here to try to connect all the way back into H3. If we're able to get that installed, we will use that as a holding feature. This upper portion of the line here is a pretty challenging piece, so we'll have the hand crews taking a look as they proceed out to the north. Uh, if that's not a viable option, we will look at using this indirect line coming down the ridge line with dozers back into the Salt Creek Road using the Salt Creek Road as our primary line at some point if this ridge line does not hold. Coming back out to Salt Creek Road here, um, we will connect back into uh, Cinnamon Gap area just above here, drop point 12, and then using a network of road systems and uh, ridge lines coming back up here to the towers. Once we hit that, we'll look at tying that back in on the road systems, back into the Cinnamon Gap Road, coming across that, back into some ridge lines that come back out here, intermix of the road system and ridge lines back out here to the Mineral King Road out here to the north end of the fire. Along the north end of the fire here, we're looking at utilizing a control feature of the East Fork of the Cuya River as a natural feature for holding the fire. If that weren't a viable option, we would look at utilizing the Mineral King Road. Uh, currently, crews will start uh, opening up this road with overgrown brush and removing that brush along that road system for access for the firefighters. And then out here at the very end of the road here, we have a structure group that's looking at the structures that are out at the end of that road there, assessing the need for the prep that'll happen out there. Also today with some values that could be threatened with the giant sequoia groves, uh, we're looking at doing defensive firing operations to allow fire to back through these groves. The overall fire effect in all the groves that have been touched by uh, fire at this point, which is the surprise grove and the coffee pot unit have been in a backing state. Limited uphill runs in these groves here. Uh, the fire effect in these groves has been pretty uh, beneficial towards the giant sequoias. Uh, not seen a lot of uh, intense fire behavior in those groves. It's all been a backing fire through these groves. We also have uh, crews that are dedicated to prepping these groves out ahead of the fire as it backs through there given uh, uh, extra precaution for when the fire does back through there. Uh, some of these groves out here more to the east, a little more remote, so a little more challenging to get crews out there ahead of the main fire, but overall fire effect in all the groves that have currently been impacted by fire is pretty minimal, backing low intensity fire on the ground. Uh, I'll come back out here, kind of didn't touch on it. I just want to reiterate uh, these hash. Uh, hash marks right here coming back are contingency lines these will be installed with dozers hand crews coming back out towards the south fork road and then we have another line that's from uh k and p complex that'll be opened back up it comes out here kind of to the up to the northwest and then back into skyline drive back out to craig ranch there so those are going to be opened up as contingency lines in case the current plan that we have does, doesn't hold. We have a fallback to go onto these ridge, uh, ridge lines and roads in this dozer line. 
Right out here, probably about the Cinnamon Gap Road, we have a transition in fuel type. So we go from a more heavy brush fuel type in this area to a more lighter grass fuel type in this area. So these con uh, contingency lines are definitely a viable option if we, this area does not hold. Uh, currently, we uh, have aircraft assigned. We still have the scoopers assigned to the incident. They are dipping out of the Kauia Lake, so be mindful of the area where they're drawing water from. Please stay out of that area. And then we do have uh, Type 1 helicopters that will be working on this west side of the fire. And then today's mission with the scooper aircraft, if smoke allows, we'll try to get them out here on this north side of the fire. They were real effective out here on the south side, so going to try to utilize them over here if the smoke allows them with visibility. Uh, we do have... Uh, General information about warnings and orders can be done, found at the Genesis app that I mentioned yesterday. It'll be in the information provided below. And then general information about the fire, most updated information, please visit NCWeb. This will conclude our uh, operational update for August 22nd, 2024. Please join us tomorrow. Thank you.